O Gary no sa minasan today we <laughs> Today we are going to talk about Kamen Rider Gachado. This is the first official trailer that we actually got regarding the belt of Gachat itself okay so this is really really interesting because we actually get a trailer for the the belt the henshin driver before we actually got a trailer for the actual series itself that is insane man like really really insane but i'm really excited to talk about the the trailer because it is gonna show us a lot a lot of interesting thing with that being said let us jump straight into the trailer let's go go let's go okay so it uh sorry just want to go back a little big okay so we actually got a few card here we can immediately start to break down first card hopper one and we got number two i think it, it, that is a skateboard if not mistaken yeah skateboard and then in the third card we got a ninja yet again and ninja form like toe knows what sells and what people want and they are going all out on it okay so it's called sasuke maru and then on the fourth card holy shit watching this well give me nightmares man like if if you watch if you watch re-zero you know what i'm talking about i can i can really sense the vietnam war flashback like flowing in that that re-zero scene of a freaking flying well is nightmare it is literally nightmare okay and then on the fifth card which which is seven card it is actually a bullet boy i think it is a bullet boy i'm not sure what is the name of the card but it looks like a little bit kind of like a cowboy high noon style character so we got five card right now so let me just continue on the trailer to see what we can find on the trailer itself okay next we got we got five more cards to break down. Let us start off with Steam Liner, okay? Steam Liner and Hopper One is gonna mix together. They are gonna have a little bit of combo. So I believe, like, the, based on the arrangement of the card, it is gonna be similar to how, like, the the, the first phase and the second, like, the first pack of card and the second phase of card, like, the arrangement is gonna tell us the combination of the of the two cards itself so secondly we got skateboard remember skateboard and now we got kind of like a samurai looking card we are not sure what is the name apparesus i'm not sure man like, i'm not sure what is the name but it looks like a a a samurai who also use a little bit of fan power i would say maybe it is a fan skateboard samurai rider i don't know man let me move on to the next thing it is gekio choppa so this is i don't know why geki koppa is supposed to be a helicopter yeah it is a helicopter but it looks a little bit similar to a plane as well and if my memory serve me right this is the samurai okay samurai and helicopter are mixing together actually reminded me of a super sentai who also is kind of like ninja bears but also uses a helicopter megazord i forgot what is his name already but the series is called power ranger hurricane okay hurricane okay hurricane is the series is is really really interesting but let me move on to the next one it is smartphone okay smartphone is gonna pay up together with what was the previous card again oh my god i forgot already let, let me just check okay like what is the previous card i think smartphone is gonna pay up with oh this does not make sense okay because as you guys can see here the 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 flying white well the flying well is number nine but but when you actually goes to the this card the smartphone is actually number eight so i don't think smartphone is gonna pay up with the well itself so smartphone could actually be paid up with some other people which i do not know who like the other number two we we just need to see wait and see okay i'm really i'm 
I'm I'm getting ahead of myself, okay? But let me move on to the next card, which is again Genshi. I don't know, but it looks like a moth, look like a butterfly. Amazing, okay? Maybe this is a little bit of reference to Super Sentai. Like we actually got a Papillion Ranger in the Osama Sentai. So maybe this is a little bit of hint or, or about that. Or oh, maybe not. I'm just thinking too much. I don't know, man. Let me let me move on to the next thing right now. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me just go back a little bit. Chotomateku. Wow. Wow. Okay. We we got all the name here, okay? All the name is here for us to to butcher. So the first card on the top left, it is gonna be Gen Gen. Gen Gen Boy Boy. I don't know how to pronounce that word, man. Like le legit. If you know how to pronounce that word, let me know. And next we got Beetle. Beetle? I don't know. I'm just gonna call it Beetle. This is a number 10 card, man. Like this is how are you? This is insane. Number 10 card. And then I would assume there is gonna be a zero card. Because you you need like you you need to kind of mix it together something like that, so we got a Beetle card number ten. It is a Kabuto card, a red Kabuto, and we know our Kamen Rider really really love uh insect based stuff, and they really love Kabuto and Gatak. So maybe this is a reference for that. Once again, this is the 55th anniversary of the Kamen Rider uh, series. So maybe they are doing a little bit of like throwback here and there. Like it, I know it is a little bit fast, you know, like, I know, I know it is not the 55th. I forgot like why, why are we celebrating Kamen Rider uh, again? Like, I don't think this is the 55th, but this is the fifth series in the Reiwa series. Yeah, this is the fifth series in the Reiwa series. So maybe they are gonna do a little bit of reference here and there. Like even the design of Kamen Rider Gacha though, like it, it looks very, very similar to, to Kamen Rider Ichigo helmet. So I, I believe that we're gonna get a lot, a lot of reference. Okay, but with that being said, let me move on to the next one. Next, we get to see a magician looking card. It is his number two. It is named Bokiri Majin. Bokiri Majin. Okay, so why is it called Bokiri? What does Bokiri mean? I do not know, but Majin means like kind of like a magician or something like that. And next, we got another one powered card which is called Spiegel or Spice. Spicy, 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 something like that. I don't know, man. Like this is stupid name, but then again, it is really, really fun. Love the card design overall. It looks really, really colorful, and every single one of them looks. It really looks like it can be a trading card game. It can be a TCG game, and I'm just all in for this. Okay, next one is. I'm not sure how to actually pronounce this. Maybe it's like. Kuning Nero? Kuning Neo? I, I don't know, man. Like, the first letter of this word, I'm not sure, like, what does this. Is, is this like a. Oh! Burning Nero. This one is B, okay? Burning Nero, okay? Makes sense. This makes more sense because it is a burning pepper. Burning. I'm not. What was the word for. What, what is this chili called again? I forgot already. But yeah, let me move on. Next, we got. Koro Dash, Cold Dash, so I was assume that this is gonna be something of a ice power bike, something like that. That he can actually summon. We actually get to see his bike already, which is really really cool. And next we get to see uh what is this called? Okay, Oripa, or is it Buripa? Oripa. I'm just gonna call it Oripa, okay? Because it doesn't make sense that this is B. Maybe it's B, okay? Boripa, Buripa, I don't know. And next we got... It, okay, by the way, I just want to spend some time talking about Boripa's design. This is a, a level 1 card, and we actually got kind of a, a genie-looking uh, card itself, so that is really, really amazing. Next we got Hike Rescue, so this is a fire truck, okay? This is a fire truck. Hike Rescue, why is it Hike? I'm not sure. It's not Hike Rescue, it's Hike Skew. Hike Skew. Okay, I'm just gonna go with that. Let's roll with Hike Skew. Next, we got a Pokemon reference. Go 
Pika Photon. Pika Hotaru, okay? So, this is a, a reference to Pikachu. Obviously, Hotaru means uh, fire, Firefly. Yeah, Firefly, they have very short lifespan. They, 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 they die very quickly. What am I trying to say? I don't know. But next thing, next card is Sasuke Maru. We already saw this. We already saw Appare Subido. Shido. Okay, so last word is Shido. The front word is Appare. Okay, Appare Shido. Appare Shido. I don't know, but we are on the second row right now. And the second card of the second row is Team Liner. And then we got Carry Woos. Carry Woos. So this is this looks like a Viking card, okay? Viking card. And there's a lot of Woos. So Carry Woos looks really cool. Power 9 card. And next we got Hopper 1. We already saw this. And next is Pilots. Pilots? 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 Something like that. This is a... It looks like a pirate card. So that is quite... It's called Pilots. We are not sure. But we actually get to see a hook looking thing. So maybe he's gonna have... It is a reference to Rider Man or one of the Rider that actually have a hook as a weapon. Something like that. And next we got a uh, scare... scare Ski balls, ski balls, ski balls. I don't know. I think it's called ski balls, and we already saw ski balls. Next, we are gonna talk about dog. Okay, this D. So this is Doripa. Okay, above of Doctor Kozo is Doripa. So Doctor Kozo is a. It looks like a fly who is also a scientist. So that is really, really amazing. Next, we got Gekyo Choppa. And next, we got Smartophone. And next, we got Kamwell. This is nightmare-inducing well thing. Really, really scary stuff. Next, let me go on to the third row. We got Gatsu Shovel. Power Ed card. It is a shovel. And next, we got a Power 10 card called X Wizard, oh, this looks really, really good. X Wizard looks really, really good, man. Like, we are actually seeing a lot of level 10 card, which actually makes me wonder, like, how are they gonna like balance the power scaling when we actually watch the series itself? After X Wizard, we are gonna get Mad Wheels. This card we actually saw already, like, it has been leaked to us a, a, quite a long time ago, and now we get to see it again. It is a car who is mad. Mad Max Fury Road reference, maybe. Could also be kind of like Kamen Rider Drive reference. Next is Bullet. Bullet. Bu Bullet Bang, okay? It's called Bullet Bang. I, it took me a while, but I got it. Bullet Bang. We already saw this. This is the High Noon Cowboy guy that I talked about. Next is N Roder. N Roder. And Ropper, okay, and Ropper, and Powered Card. Not sure what to talk about. Love the design. Next, we got Wrestle Q or Wrestle G. Wrestle G looks really, really good. It looks, I mean, it is a, it's a, it is a wrestler guy. Or it is a wrestler. What am I? What else can I say? Next, we got another level 10 card which is really really amazing exit fighter okay exit fighter this could actually be a power up to the gekyo chopper maybe maybe not we are not sure but next i'm just gonna move my camera here next we got Kama Kamantis, okay? It is a level 9 card, Kamantis. And after Kamantis, we got Deep Marina. It is a level 5 card. So Deep Marina and Endoropa is could actually be best match. We do not know. It could actually be like that, okay? I, I will assume so. And after Deep Marina, we got Kaiser B, okay? Kaiser B looks terrifying man like it is level 8 card but it looks like drill with the beast thing going on so it is really really subarashi and after that i would assume the rest of the card are just repeated card okay at the bottom row all of them are repeated so i'm not gonna go through them now that we have covered all these different cards let me move on with the trailer okay gotcha though Let's go. Okay. 
Raito Kemi. More than a hundred? Are you kidding me? That is insane, bro. Oh man, like the the people that is gonna buy and collect all the cards is gonna go nuts. Okay, they they are gonna go nuts. Wow. Okay, so so okay, so the card actually show us how does like which card and which card is gonna match together to form the rider kind of sad i'm not gonna lie because i mean i mean in in a series production design i kind of like understand why are they gonna go with this because like imagine you can mix a like a just more than because we already saw there is more than one card that actually have the number two and number eight slot of power something like that so just thinking about mixing the card together you have to make an entirely new suit that is very budget consuming i know in Kamen Rider Gears we actually got a series that actually really really safe on the budget itself and they actually created a design where they can actually utilize different like just share the costume just and use it repeatedly so actually seeing them like really spending a lot of money on the suit in this series i would say it is a good thing but also at the same time it's also i don't know man i i, I love the first suits i love steam hopper and I, I i i can't wait to actually see how does the rest of the ranger and uh, all, all the rest of the suit actually looks like okay but let me just continue okay gotcha okay let's go okay okay at first when i actually saw this how, how i imagine the card actually works is it we we are actually gonna have like left card and right card like it's gonna carry a different symbol something like that so we might actually get to see like a left card is more focused on the goggles and and then other stuff and then on the right card is gonna focus more on the the rest of the helmet design something like that like maybe the jaws how how does the part of the the face shield is gonna look like but after seeing how the card design is like left and right and they just kind of like meet in the middle I, I love the, the concept here but you know like it's still a little bit underwhelming in a sense but let me just move on let's go steam hoppa oh, oh okay 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 uh let me just go back a little bit okay among all these cards, I think there's only okay, only one card we haven't saw before, which is this card. This card, this card, at the very left, second row on the left side is called Venom, Venom Back of Venom Deck. Okay, this is, it looks like a mushroom, and it is venomous. Really insane stuff. Love it. Can't wait to see how the suit actually looks like. But next. We actually get a tease on how the helmet actually looks like because if you just mix the card all all the cards side by side together, you would actually see how the how the helmet is gonna look like something like that. Okay. Oh, okay. So they actually show it to us. Okay, they show how the helmet is gonna look like to us. So we start off with Steam Hopper in the middle, and above us we got above steam hopper i think this is the the skip skateboard samurai and then on the the orange color is gonna be the butterfly and i'm not sure what is it combining together and then the green color is gonna be deep mariner and also the venom deck and, and the the purple color i'm not sure what is it but the blue color i know like the one i'm uncovering right now the blue color is the the end and Do Ropper and also the what was the other one and Ropper and the other five I forgot what is the another five and Ropper and shit I forgot already like my memory is really really bad but now that we have seen like nine nine months of of Kamen Rider Gachado let me know in the comment section below like which one you actually is is actually your favorite okay like after seeing all nine of these I have to stay 
Steam Hopper is still the best looking one. Like Steam Hopper looks really, really good, man. Like I, I don't know. I, I just love Steam Hopper. It looks amazing. Love the design. But let me move on. The video is 20 minutes long already. Okay. Okay. Hoppa what? Okay, guys, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but they actually bring back the jingles. The jingles is back. <laughs> After entry and not much of a jingle at all, the jingle is back, baby. The Reiwa jingles is back, and I honestly speaking, I kind of miss the jingles quite a lot, not gonna lie. And damn, this is so good just to hear Steam Hopper. That is delicious, okay? So, another thing I want to say is the, the stuntman here of Steam Hopper looks a little bit fat. Not gonna lie. I'm not sure, like, is this the guy that is gonna be Steam Hopper in the actual series or not? Or this is just a random guy wearing the suit? I would assume that this is just a, a random guy wearing the suit because from what I saw in the trailer of Gachado, like in the Kamen Rider Gates 4S and the Black Fox, the latest trailer, we actually get to see him Henshin. It doesn't look that he's quite thick or, or fat okay so i don't know let me know in the comment section below Skimos. Appare Bushido. okay so it is Appare Bushido. nice oh okay 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 this looks good as well love the design not a big fan of the of the the sunglasses crescent moon thing but you know it, it is good i don't mind it i love it let me move on oh wow oh oh no Oh no! Oh! Oh wow! Oh! Geese Wonders! Okay! Oh! Okay. Okay. So you can mix Giz and also Gacha together. Interesting. But after I see, after I watch the entire trailer, I have a big fear because I I I have a I have a strong feeling that. Goddamn Toei is gonna do this. It is gonna be when when you buy the card for Kamen Rider Gacha, it is gonna be a mystery box. It's gonna be random. Is it is literally a gacha. It's like buying Pokemon card, like and, and you you're not gonna know what card you're gonna get in the in the in the packet itself. Like maybe you're gonna get five cards in, in one packet and every single time the every single pack is gonna be randomized so you could actually spend like a thousand dollar and you you are still not gonna get the card that you want to get especially if you're a completionist this is how they suck your money okay this is how they suck your money because for the first time in a long time they can finally sell the card in bulk and just expect people to just spend a lot of money just to get that one card one card that no one actually have that is gonna be really really scary man but with that being said let me know in the comment section below 
what do you think of the the driver what do you think of the card and what do you think of the the way that they are gonna sell the card itself i mean this is fun Kamen Rider is fun I'm, I never collect anything from Kamen Rider I'm not a big fan of, of the driver or collecting the driver and all those stuff because you know like after you buy it and you just leave it there like all, all it does is to look nice in the background and, and just collect dust okay that is my opinion my two cents that is all hope you enjoy it if you like what you see, subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Goodbye.